Shasho, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Very good, thank you. Shasho, your name is Shasho, but yes. you were born Ashley. Yes. Ashley uh, Angel Moyo. Yes, correct. Why Shasho? What does Shasho mean? Dare I delve into it? <laughs> okay, so the thing is, I have an older sister. Her name is Cherise. Okay. So, um, you know, there used to be a bit of confusion between us because we kind of looked... The when same. we were younger, we looked a lot alike. Uh -huh. So it just ended up being like, Ashley, Shasha. <laughs> <laughs> Until eventually I just went with Shasha. Shasha. Yeah. Oh, that is incredible. Thank that you. is incredible. Now you're born, uh, you're an R&B songstress, yeah. uh, hip hop as well. You, you get into that, the genres. What, what's your main genre that we can actually identify you to? Um, so right now I would say Afrobeat. Right. Because... My music still has the R&B element to it, which is my vocals, mm -hmm. but more into the Afro beats. Okay. Yeah. That's really good. And you obviously made history when you signed with the Universal Records. Right. I mean, how was that for you? That was quite exciting. Um, I had just released my first song. So for me to get such a big deal with just one song was quite a big deal was quite me. a big it deal was, for you. It was really good. Was that your launch now? Did you always know that you wanted to be singing or it was something that, you know, you have a good voice and it's like, oh, well, why no, not? No, actually. Um, I've always wanted to be a doctor. Oh, wow. That is incredible. <laughs> yes, I always wanted so to how be did a doctor. You, why then? Or are you still doing the doctor and still singing? Which, what is it? The way I see it, mm -hmm. um, doors open for me. Okay. Um, without me planning. Okay. For music. Okay. Um, obviously, I had my own plans, which was to study medicine, but everything was just flowing, and I went with you the just flow. just stuck with that. Yeah, I just with <laughs> That the is flow. incredible. Shasha, now you have an EP yeah. um, that's coming out, and it's called Solitude. Yes. Um, tell us about this. Why Solitude? What does it mean? What can we expect from it? Um, so why I decided to name it Solitude is because it was in my time of separation and isolation that I came up with this... Uh, project mm -hmm. so it's really just my thoughts your reflection my reflection so it's basically your journey we're gonna know right. a lot more about who you are in this absolutely EP. um this is a journey of redefining myself rebuilding so that's really what it is it's also a new sound mm -hmm. that i haven't really uh you know done before done before <laughs> So, so it's experimenting and getting into that, just going with the flow and what's inside you, really. Kind of. I feel like I've come uh, and met both of my genres. So the music I was making before and the music I'm making now. I think I've managed to make a fusion of Afro... Afro... R&B. Yeah. Afro R&B. Afro R&B. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now you have a, a new video on... You had a new video on Saturday. Right. Mbava. Yes. What is this one? So it's, a, it's part of the EP, the actually. Mm -hmm. um, I like to tell different stories. I like to uh, talk about what I see. And Bava was one of that, one uh -huh. of those songs that it's things that happen. Yeah. You know, so, so it's relatable, captured. I hope. Yeah. It should be. Well, we can't wait to hear it. I'm sure we'll <laughs> be like, yeah. And, you know, I know people like Ja Praiser have also mentioned on your quality right. of music, your voice and your videos and everything like that. Tell us, what does it take for you to really give us some of these visuals that you give us in your videos? It takes so much time, so much effort. This video I shot um, with SAP, uh -huh. Bava. Uh-huh. It took about five days. Okay. Wow. I think the shoot was initially three days. Mm -hmm. And it took about five days. So it takes so much out of you, even just like your mental. Yeah. Um, it does get a bit disturbed, but it's all worth it for me. In the, in end. the end. And yeah. some of the challenges that you face when you, when you go through something like this? Well, you know, it takes a lot from you. Okay. So... The, the time that I'm going to be releasing, I know I'm going to be anxious, I'm going to be nervous. But then when it's out and you get the reaction from people, it just makes it all worth the while. That is incredible. Now, uh, uh, you've, uh, you have worked with people like Confused. Right. Uh, and it was, what was it, Mepo? Yes. Yeah. How was that working with, how was it working with other artists? I mean, obviously you have this Afro R&B sound and right. you know, you're mixing with other genres and other people who are doing things. How was your experience working with Confused and who else have you really worked with? So working with Confused was amazing, actually. Um, when I see him on social media, I would think he's, you know, loud and stuff. He's actually not. Very nice person. 
So it's nice to um, just blend with other artists because you're both bringing yourselves to the table. You're yeah. not trying to be the each, forefront. Exactly, yeah. you get me. So I'm enjoying it. I've worked with a lot of people. Uh -huh. There's also a collaboration on the EP. Uh -huh. So just is it, is look it, we're, we're waiting to that. We're not going, okay, don't, yeah. pre, don't tell us right. then. <laughs> and obviously you being signed under Universal Music. I mean, look, this is a great thing. How... How did you get there and how do you feel about that? Wow, how did I get there? <laughs> it's the Lord's doing. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how I got there, honestly. I can't even answer that because it just happened. Uh -huh. Like I said, I didn't want to be a musician. I didn't want to. I used to play instruments, yes, uh -huh. but it wasn't like a plan that I yeah, had. You just landed into it. And I so, just so when you just it. land in there, uh, what kind of work is involved with this? There's so much work involved. And, you know, for me, especially when I was starting, I knew nothing. Okay. So there's just something new to learn every day. When you think you got it, there's something new. Uh -huh. It's just always something new. So it's a lot of work. Um, but like they say, hard work pays off. Okay, um, I was listening, I think on social media, I was listening to a cover that you did and I remember saying to myself, wow, this voice is just enchanting. <laughs> what is happening here? Do you know what I mean? What is your, how do you take care of that, that gift that you have? Do you have vocal lessons? Do you have, what do you do? I do do vocal training, uh -huh. but not often, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I don't do it <laughs> often. Um, but I sing every day. It's just a hobby, it's something I love, so it just happens randomly anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I don't really, you don't I, really... I have rehearsals, uh -huh. I do, does that count? Well, it does count. <laughs> you're just it's a not... music note, let's just call it that. <laughs> right. Music is just in you. Yes. Okay, so I understand your father also um, is a musician. My father? He was. He yeah. was a musician. Some sort of. Uh -huh. Is that where you drew inspiration from? Do you draw inspiration from that? And how is the support system with your folks pertaining to your career? Okay, so I'll answer your second question okay. first. <laughs> um, my parents are so supportive. Every single thing I do, mm -hmm. I let them know and they give me advice because I know that they, as much as they might not be in the entertainment industry, they know, mm -hmm. um, you know, what has happened before. So they're wiser to advise me. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they're just very supportive. They're supportive. They are. And your, and your siblings have. and everyone. Everyone is so supportive. I, I, can't, I can't complain. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> well, you really do look like you have no complaints at all. And it's really good to have a great support system as you do this. Now, Shasha, we obviously all have like a five-year plan or a 10-year plan. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I see myself, like I said, redefining the music industry in Zimbabwe, um, as well as the beauty and fashion industry. Okay. I, I love all things beautiful yeah, and, fashionable. and fashionable. So in the next five years, definitely, I see myself rebuilding a lot of areas where we are lacking. Mm -hmm. um, I also see myself on international platform. Wow, that is incredible. Of course, I have to be. <laughs> That's very good. And, right. and, you know, speaking of your uh, EP Solitude, where are we launching this? Where is it going to be? Uh, what can we really expect from the night? So I'll be launching it at The Nest um, on 30 Barrydale Road okay. on Friday. However, it's invite only. <laughs> oh. invite, invite only, only. no gate crashes guys no wow. gate crashes but i hope to see you there yeah. <laughs> we should we should so where's my invite i need an invite otherwise don't worry. i'll be gate crashing don't worry manager's gonna send it right now <laughs> <laughs> absolutely great so this is a really good journey this is something that you know we are really looking forward to just you have who you are come out yeah. there for us so after solitude anything else that we should look forward to an album maybe you are you are you wait. working on it? You know what? I've learned to I've learned to act more than I speak. So I want to just show you. You just want to show. Yeah. Us. So so stay tuned. Stay posted. Um, and just support. Just support. And I appreciate all the support that I've gotten so far. It means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> and it means so much to have you on the show this morning, Shashal. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much for joining us. Thank you for and having just, me. You know, allowing us to kind of have a peek into your life. Mm -hmm.